Hello guys, my name is Fetuga Majid Olalikon and basically I am so happy to have uh, this video. Basically, I'm just going to use this video to explain a, a, a very simple step, uh, maybe complex but simple. Okay, uh, the aim is that we want to move uh, some applications within uh, WHM. Now, application means the C panel that we have hosted our website within. So we have WHM as the manager of cPanel accounts. So we have hosted our website within a cPanel and the cPanel is managed by WHM. So we want to move our file from one WHM account to another WHM account. How do you get WHM account? That is when you install cPanel. C WHM uh, is the manager of cPanel, okay? Uh, so how do you do that? We are looking at two uh, WHM cPanel interface installed on two different servers. And uh, the first is we are going to access this WHM with our root login details, uh, with our password, uh, IP address, the root login details will be given to you by uh, the server provider, probably contable as the case may be. So what you are going to have is an IP address that has been installed, that WHM cPanel has been installed on. So you are going to assess the back end of uh, the account with uh, 2087. So I'm going to show you uh, here where you can actually uh, come online with your use, uh, IP address 20, colon 287 and you'll be able to access the back end. Now this is one account, one uh, WHM account being accessed. So in fact, if you come here, you can actually make use, you can see the list of uh, accounts available within the first one. So. The aim of logging into uh, the first server here is just primarily just to be able to see the list of accounts, list of accounts that are available. And when we say accounts, we mean control panel that has been created, a uh, C panel that has been created uh, within a single account. So. For you to access the second server, okay, the H, the WHM C panel of the second server, so you have to log in with the IP address as has been given to you by the the installation and uh, column 2087. And of course, you have to put in your roots as a username and the password as you have been given so having done that you would be able to access an application this application is what we are looking for transfer oh transfer to okay basically that is what we are looking for so you just come to this search menu at the top and you are going to search for transfer to just once you click transfer you are going to see the two so you click on the two and that two is the most important uh tool that we want to look at so if you look at the explanation now we want to access an account a, a website from this server and we want to access that website within this server now the two servers are is the whm is what the application the control panel application installed on the two server so you are going to access this server with your roots and password login details and you are going to search for this tool transfer to and the aim of searching for this tool is to fetch the accounts within this first server okay so you are going to put the remote uh, server address which is the IP address please note your IP address that you are going to put will not have this uh, 
port 2087 will not be added in the IP address. Just enter your IP address here, which is the first uh, server that you want to transfer file, you want to transfer account for, and you are going to put in your password. The password should be the password for the root of the first server as well. So you are going to then fetch the uh, account list. Now fetching the account list means that it's going to give you a list of the control panel accounts created within the WHM of the first server. Of course, you are going to allow the uh, packages once you have this account you are going to see the list first of all allow the packages because we want to transfer a file so you are going to allow all packages and you are going to click on the accounts that you want to move from one server to the set new server now so you want to move from this server you want to move into this server so you come onto this server and search for the transfer tool uh you approve all packages you approve you check or approve all packages so that is going to is going to uh copy all the packages for that uh, control panel and the files within it so and you are going to uh in case where you have errors like this Errors like this will occur if you want to transfer a file, this error that you have selected an account that cannot be transferred properly because its username conflicts with the username of on the local server. What it means is uh, you have an account okay, already available in this second server. Now you want to bring in some accounts from this first server onto this second server but the account that you want to bring have the username that same account is already here so it's not going to it's going to there will be contradiction there will be clash and that's why you will be having error so you can only move account from this place to this server once that account is not even available within this server already okay so you are just going to uncheck those ones and uh, you are going to copy click on copy at the end so you click on copy and please make sure that you copy all the packages as we have made as we've explained earlier so what you are going to see is a transfer of authority okay and that transfer will transfer all the the copy of the packages okay and every other files within it okay is going to copy the accounts from uh the first server to the second server That is what you are going to see that will happen. So as soon as it is done with that, it's going to show you a complete uh, service. It's going to show you a complete service of uh, transfer files and everything being successful. And if there is any error, it's going to share with you the files that have been completed and so it means that with that you can still log on to your oh no so it means that with that you are, you can still log on to your uh, account your domain will still be available because the files are still available in the server and you can still actually access that those files but if you want to access the account the cpanel account so you will now have to come onto the second server you have to log in from the second server admin and it's still going to be available all your files everything will be available online thank you and god bless